Hello everyone, I am Vimukti Nimalsiri and I will be presenting our research on the automated radiology report generation using transformers. This research was conducted by Mahela Hennayaka, Kasun Ratnayaka, Dr. Thanuja Ambegoda, Prof. Dulani Midhaniya and myself. I will start off with a brief introduction about the domain of our research. Lung diseases are a major cause of death around the world and medical professionals use X-ray images to detect various anomalies in lung area and write precise medical reports from the observations. We have developed an automated chest X-ray report generation solution. This solution uses a powerful machine learning technique called transformers which can analyze the chest X-ray images and generate a report automatically. Our solution can be used as a supportive tool to lower the burden of radiologists and provide quick and accurate reports. On this slide, you can see an example of chest x-ray image and a sample report generated by our solution. As you can see, the report includes important information such as the presence of abnormalities, their location and the severity. In the following slides, we will dive deeper into our research methodology and the results we obtained. The interpretation of chest x-rays requires expert knowledge and can be a time-consuming process. This is further complicated by the shortage of trained radiologists which can lead to delays in diagnosis and treatment affecting patients' outcomes. Manually generating CXR reports can be tedious and prone to errors, leading to inconsistent quality and accuracy. This makes it difficult for radiologists to produce reports that are reliable and consistent. To address these issues, our research focuses on developing an automated chest x-ray report generation solution using transformers, which can provide fast and accurate reports and help reduce the burden on radiologists. In our paper, we have made two major contributions to the field of automated radiology report generation. Firstly, we have analyzed the effect of different convolutional neural network architectures for visual feature extraction to improve the performance of medical image report generation. CNNs are a popular deep learning technique for image analysis and we have experimented with several architectures to find the best performing one. Secondly, we have introduced image segmentation and morphological post-processing as precursors to the report generation workflow, resulting in an increase in accuracy. Image segmentation is a technique that separates the CXR image into different regions, allowing us to focus on the relevant areas for report generation. This morphological post-processing step helps to refine the segmentation results and improve the accuracy of the report. Together, these contributions have helped us to develop a more accurate and efficient automated chest structure report generation solution. Our results show that our approach can produce reports with high accuracy and quality in reducing the burden on radiologists and improving patient outcomes. Recent studies in automated radiology report generation include Arjun who used an optimized deep learning approach with a CNN encoder and a visual attention mechanism on the VQA MED dataset. Naudeep used a deep neural network with a VGG19 encoder, a hierarchical LSTM and a distilled bird sentiment analysis on the OpenAI dataset, achieving a blue score of 0.767 and a meteor score of 0.897. Armjot used a transformer-based approach with a DenseNet 1-to-1 encoder and the IU X-ray dataset achieving a blue score of 0.479 and a meteor score of 0.205. Our research builds upon these studies by using transformers for automated chest X-ray report generation and experimenting with different CNN architectures for visual feature extraction, introducing image segmentation and morphological post-processing and achieving high accuracy on our dataset. In this research, we use the Mimic CXR dataset which is available in two versions, differing in size and image quality. The first version is the Mimic CXR DECOM version which has a size of almost 4.6 terabytes, while the other version is in JPG format and has a size of about 557.6 gigabytes. The dataset consists of 377,110 chest x-ray images corresponding to 227,835 radiographic studies, each of which includes frontal and lateral views of the chest x-rays. Here are few sample images and reports from the Mimic CXR dataset. In here, you can see each report is consist with an examination, indication, technique findings and impressions for each chest x-ray image. Also, each image is classified under 10 classes using the Chexpert labeler and that class is also mentioned in the report. Our research involved two phases. In phase 1, we analyzed the effect of different convolutional neural network architectures for visual feature extraction. The architectures we experimented with were DenseNet 121, ResNet 101, MobileNet V2, Inception V3 and Exception. 
In phase 2, we focused on medical report generation using segmented chest X-ray images, which resulted in a significant increase in accuracy. This approach involved the use of image segmentation and morphological post-processing as precursors to the report generation workflow. The resulting system demonstrated the potential for automated chest X-ray report generation as a supportive tool to assist radiologists in diagnosing lung conditions. Data pre-processing and augmentation are important steps in developing a machine learning model for automated chest X-ray report generation. In our research, we resized the input image to 224 into 224 pixels and converted them to grayscale. This was done to reduce the computational complexity of the model and focus on the important features in the chest X-ray images. We also used several data augmentation techniques to increase the variability in the training data and improve the generalization performance of the model. These techniques included random flipping, random brightness adjustments and saturation and contrast shifting. By applying these techniques, we were able to increase the diversity of the training data, which ultimately lead to a more robust and accurate model. The base model utilizes in our research incorporates various pre-processing techniques to enhance its reliability and improve its accuracy. The input image undergoes pre-processing before being fed into the CNN feature extraction model, which serves as the backbone of the encoder. In this layer, the last dense layer of the CNN model is removed since we only require the feature extraction of each image. The extracted features are then passed through the transformer decoder which facilitates the mapping between the extracted features and the medical report's words. In the bottom right corner, you can see an example of a generated report from the base model. The proposed model's architecture diagram is presented in this section. Initially, the CXR image is fed into the unit model where it undergoes segmentation which separates the chest X-ray from the background. The segmented image is then passed into the CNN feature extraction model which extracts the features of each image acting as the encoder. The extracted features are passed into the decoder which consists of 8 multi-head attention models. The diagram indicates two types of multi-head attention models used in the decoder. The masked multi-head attention model is utilized to learn the language from the given medical reports in the MIMIC CXR dataset, while the second multi-head attention model maps the extracted features and ticks. During training, the masked aspects of the attention mechanism ensures that the model does not cheat by looking ahead and generating the output tokens based on future information. After the mapping of the second multi-head attention model, the output passes through a linear layer and a softmax layer which generates a probability distribution of the words in the vocabulary. The model selects the words with the highest probability as the next token in the generating sequence. Additionally, word embedding is performed before passing the output into the decoder layer and positional encoding is carried out to maintain the words order. In our study, we used several hyperparameters to perform a comparative analysis of different convolutional neural network architectures for visual feature extraction. For each of the CNN architectures we tested, we used a fixed number of epochs, which was set to 10. We also used an initial learning rate of 1 into 10 to the power of minus 5 for all the models. We used categorical cross-entropy as the loss function, which is commonly used for multi-class classification tasks. We used the Adam optimization function, which is a popular choice for deep learning tasks due to its ability to adapt to changing gradients during training. By using these hyperparameters consistently across all the models we tested, we were able to perform a fair and comprehensive comparative analysis of the different CNN architectures for visual feature extraction. In our study, we used an improved unit model for medical image segmentation which has been shown to be effective for segmenting medical images. We trained the model using two CXR datasets, namely Montmore County and Shenzhen Hospital. To prepare the images for training and segmentation, we first resized them to 512 into 512 which is a common size used in medical imaging. We then used the improved unit model to segment the images, resulting a binary mask for the areas of interest in the CXR images. The segmented images were then resized to 512 into 512 and saved with the exact folder structure which enables us to easily link them with their corresponding reports during the report generation process. This approach helped us to achieve higher accuracy in report generation by providing more precise and relevant information to the medical professionals who rely on these reports for patient care. Here are the feature extraction results for the various architectures that we have selected in the phase 1. After analyzing the results, we found that ResNet performed the best among all the other models with the highest accuracies for all pathological classes. This indicates that ResNet is more suitable for both screening and final confirmation of a disease. When comparing the accuracy and specificity, we found that ResNet outperformed the other models, making it the most powerful model for the task. The ROC curves for different CNN models are shown for each of the selected diseases. 
ResNet101 shows better results with higher area under the curve scores and ROC curves that tend to deviate more towards the upper left corner, indicating better accuracy. DenseNet121 also performs well with better AUC scores than MobileNet for all diseases. MobileNet V2 shows a comparatively low AUC score for each of these classes and its ROC curves are more towards the main diagonal. Overall, ResNet101 is the most powerful among the selected CNN models, making it best choice for the next phase of the study. Evaluation results of the generated medical report show that our baseline model, which uses ResNet without image segmentation, outperformed the Ratchet and TyNet models. Our proposed model that uses both ResNet and segmented images significantly outperformed all other models. This suggests that image segmentation can play a crucial role in improving the accuracy of medical report generation. The proposed model achieved a blue score of 0.296, meteor score of 0.128, root score of 0.335 and finally a side score of 1.150. These results indicate that proposed approach can serve as a reliable support tool for radiologists in medical report generation. In conclusion, we proposed a transformer-based approach for medical report generation that was improved with image segmentation which resulted in more accurate and precise reports that can be used as supportive tools for radiologists. Our comparative analysis of different CNN architectures for visual feature extraction showed that ResNet101 performed the best with an average accuracy of 69.26%, average sensitivity of 63.36% and average specificity of 70.36%. We also used a base transformer decoder to decode the captions which enables us to generate reports with more relevant and precise information. Overall, this approach can be further extended to achieve even higher accuracies and develop as a supportive tool for radiologists which can help reduce the burden on medical professionals and improve patient care. Thank you.